All right, guys, real short video here. I've seen a lot of people post up like, oh, you need to do this to balance your crank. You need to drill here, drill here, drill here. But in reality, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to balance this crank for motorized bicycles. And you don't have to worry about balance factor, this, that, and the other. This is how we do it, how we've been doing it for four years now. Um, in, in this balance factor that we figured out, it is works. But I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it and what you need. So we're gonna start with, we just need a half inch drill bit. You don't necessarily have to have a milling machine. You can have a drill press or, you know, if you really have to, you can do it with a drill. It's a little tougher that way. This stuff is not easy to drill. Um, but you're gonna start with a half inch drill bit, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the mark right there. And what you need is you need to drill it 15 millimeters with a half inch drill bit, dead center of these two holes, okay, on both sides. So you wanna drill this side, you'll flip the crank over, drill it on the other side. Anytime you're drilling steel, just drill it slow. You don't have to burn your drill bits up, you know, use a little lubrication or whatever. Um, and, it, and that's the best way to do it. Listen, half inch drill bit, drill it 15 millimeters, period. That's literally all you have to do. It doesn't matter if it's window piston, you know, skirted piston, stock piston, 48 millimeter, 47 millimeter. It all is the same. It works. I've been doing it for years. I've, I've done thousands of cranks, thousands and thousands, and I've never had a complaint about they vibrate or whatever. Listen, we're the fastest in the country currently uh, on China Doll. You know, and, and what I mean by China Doll is like stock motors, stock cylinder, stock crank, stock piston. Um, so I think I know what I'm talking about for sure. But so try that out. We're gonna go ahead and drill this so you have an idea. Remember, 50, sorry, 15 millimeters deep, half inch drill bit. That's it, center and then center. Okay, so I'm gonna get this started here. these holes off if you'll have something like that you can just cork it with something um, you know paper shop rags whatever whatever you have you can plug that if you do get some metal in here honestly it'll blow right out uh, especially if it's a new crank if it's an old crank just clean it real good keep blowing it out just keep playing with it make sure the rod doesn't have any kind of glitch or anything in it you know where it spins freely um, and you won't have a single problem and I promise you if you do this to your crank let me see it will be smooth as glass when you go to crank your motor back up, when you put your motor back together. If you don't know how to take your motor apart, check back a couple videos ago where I disassembled a motor and I, I showed you exactly how to do it. Um, very simple to do. So I hope this helps some of you guys. Remember, half inch drill bit, 15 millimeters deep between the two holes, both sides. This side, take the crank over, flip it over, do the same thing, that's it. That's all you gotta do. No more holes, no more of that nonsense. You'll love me for this. See ya.